Hey what's up guys, today we clean up our code a little bit by adding regions. If you're writing your code in your own style, you can skip this video as we won't modify anything in the logic of the code, but we'll move stuff around and declare new regions. So without further ado, let's get started. And now let's do the big script cleanup. So go ahead and open up um, any scripts and we are going to clean as much stuff as we can from there. So first script I'm going to use or I'm going to start cleaning up is going to be the first one in the list, so the base camera state. I'm going to zoom in a bit and what I'm going to do is I'll go in tools, option, and now there is something uh, somewhere that enables you to fold the code so I think it's over here yeah in general so text editor general and then enable code folding over here it's really good to have this checked because then you can create regions so I also have fold region by default and also fold comment by default I'm press OK and then we're gonna start cleaning up stuff so um, in order to clean up, I'll pretty much just put a lot of things in region, and I recommend you do the same because they're really easy to work with. So I'm going to start over here, and I'll say region, this is a base state implementation. And then I'll hand this over here, right before clamp angle. So end region. Now by creating this region, I can now fold it and hide everything that implements the uh, base state. And as for the clamp angle, I'll say region. This is simply in the function region. And region, and now if I fold everything, my base state look like this. So it's pretty much um, easy to navigate now. Okay, first person camera state. I'll go up here, say region fields. And when we're done with the fields, and region just like this and this is region base state implementation again and now I'm going to do this for pretty much every single script we have uh, except some views that are really easy to read and you don't really need to have that kind of uh, region so in the third person camera we have a field over here that we put on public to test but uh, we never put it back on uh, private so let's do that right now change public to private then end region once more okay then construct process motion process rotation these are all member of the base state so region base state implementation again and we stop right before calculate position and now calculate position is simply going to be in the functions region. Let's fold everything up. Good. Now camera mother region fields. We end it over here and then region initialize and update. I like to group these two because they're pretty much uh, where I I do a lot of uh, change later on so right after late update I'll say end region and change state is simply going to be part of the function region. Let's fold it up. And here we go, that's our first folder. Now next one, the game folder. The feed zone, we don't need to do anything to that, it's simple enough to read. Wave is a little bit complicated, so let's go ahead and create ourselves a field region and region and this is start wave and update so this is pretty much just like a initialize and update region even though we're not using a start or a wake or that kind of good stuff but I mean it's still being called when we start so I'm going to do the same thing and region here and region let's fold it up and now we have the nested class which are a little bit messy so I'll just go ahead and create the same exact region for those oh there's a private field here almost forgot region initialize and update 
the run event is pretty much an update because we're running it every single frame and region and then spawn info same thing again region fields and we end the region over here now ready to spawn is not really an update so I'll just put it inside the function region okay let's close this off and again and it looks somewhat like this now it's easier to navigate waypoint waypoint is easy enough we don't need to fix it okay so that's that's done for the game folder now the mutter folder this one's going to be a bit complicated I bet um, the states I don't really need to modify the states they're quite easy actually I already have uh, some kind of folding here but that's the base state so that's a little bit normal so jumping state walking state we don't need to modify any kind of state except of course the base state so I'm gonna come over here and we already had some region for this uh, base state implementation construct destruct transition but we also have the process motion and process rotation to include in there so I go ahead and do that and then for the apply speed and apply gravity those are kind of helpers so I'll say state helper and end region okay so that's it for state now AI mutter should be quite simple region feel we end this just below that we have a region init and update which include a start and a update mutter set destination is not part of that so we end before and then region functions and we include both set destination and destination and region okay fold it up now what do we get we get a really clean AI mutter cool base mutter this one is big so we're gonna need to define some stuff in here so region uh, fields then we stop after the protected abstract even though it's a function well it's not even a function yet it's just a call that uh, requires you to have a function so it's kind of a field and then of course we have the initialize and update we end it over here and then we have to deal with the functions cool and region and we are done here player motor should be quite simple as well so region fields and region region initialize and update and it stops here then region function and we end down here okay so that's it for the mutter. I'm going to fold it up first, close it up, and then for the systems, first off we have the level manager, which should be a little bit more complicated than the rest, I assume. So region fields, and we're going to end it over here. And now we have initialize, start, and update, so they should all be part of the same group. Uh, region initialize and update and then we end it after the update and region start wave end wave and enemy cross okay start wave and end wave they need their own uh, region so I'll say those are wave functions because they're only related to waves and they're gonna be taking some space okay we close this off now what we have, we have enemy cross, get wave info, or actually open up the um, region wave function, we're going to move the get wave info in there as well. So I cut it, and paste it inside the region. Okay, so now enemy cross, victory and defeat are all going to be uh, general functions, so functions, and we close it off here. Okay. Now, spawn manager. I'm going to start over here and say these are fields and region and then uh, spawn related functions and those are going to include the destroy enemy because we need to dispound and the spawn manager takes care of dispounding as well.
and after that uh, there, that's only a, a, some kind of property we could say this is a getter function so um, we'll just put them in the general function for now and as for this update I'm just gonna leave it there because it's temporary okay UA manager same thing or well, actually UI manager is gonna be a little bit different what we're gonna do here since we plan on having quite a lot of stuff in there uh, we're gonna group them by kind of a component or panels uh, we could say so the wave information panel what I'll do is I'll take the fields that matches the wave information so these one I'm gonna cut them and put it right above the draw wave information function clean this up and I'm gonna make a region just for them so wave information and I'll just leave it like that then I'll end the function or end the region over here and this is stuff that is only gonna be uh, related to the wave information so I'll close this off later on when we have say the ability bar I'm gonna have another region that is called ability bar and then we're gonna declare the fields in there so we declare the field and then we do the function if we need to okay and the rest is just fine like it is and that's pretty much it for the cleanup of our code as for now now we're pretty much done with the code cleanup we wanted to do and uh, we should be ready to tackle the combat system in the next part of this tutorial so the enemies are gonna have some kind of HP and then we're gonna have tower AI coming in tower are gonna shoot the enemies and then they'll be able to die on the spot and uh, there's a lot to cover in the combat system so that is why we wanted to at least sort our code a little bit before we get started in there. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thanks for watching, if you have any question or comment please leave them in the comment section below, if this was helpful to you please leave it a like and also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.